what is up savage life family we are here looking at this exciting company neo here and i just want to let you guys know i am extremely bullish on neo i know it has massive potential and this company has the best customer service in regards of the ev industry as a whole so let's go ahead and take a look what happened to neo in the past week up two dollars past month it was down since you know it had a highest high $55.38 so this week uh, I know a lot of you are upset seeing as if you did not hop into NEO before it was at this uh, $48 price point it dropped all the way to a low of $42 and I explained on one of my previous videos that NEO has seen to build a support from $38 to $42 and it doesn't really dip below that so if you see a trend following and in the upcoming months it does happen to dip again to a 42 to 38 dollar price point level it would be a good idea to buy into it but it may be highly unlikely since the recent news that came out for this company might cause this stock to shoot up sooner than later as you can see i'm in nine thousand eight hundred dollars on neo with a total return of eight hundred and fifty two dollars average cost of 44 and I don't want to sell anytime soon. I'm planning to go extremely long on Neo, hold it for as long as I can. As you can see, I'm playing my cause extremely safe. I'm literally uh, placing cause out of the money for quick uh, $10 gains. And I honestly wouldn't mind if it sells at $51 unless by today it jumps up like $10 to $15. Then of course, anybody would be upset but that is highly unlikely and if it does eventually sell I am going to go ahead and play Neo by buying cause or selling puts to get in at a good cost I'll explain it more in the future if it does ever sell so looking at the news for Neo if you guys didn't know in China uh, the new energy vehicle subsidies will be cut by 20% in 2021 on a year-over-year -year basis Meaning that the government was granting money to this industry the EV market to serve the vehicles at a discount in order to help the economy But seeing as there are a lot more EV vehicles on the street the government decided to cut the grant by 20% but Neo had some great news and it announced that if customers pay a deposit on or before January 10th, they can purchase the company's EVs at the same price as it was in 2020. And the difference between the price with the reduced subsidy and the applicable price in 2020 will be taken care of by Neo. So it is also believed the company could start mass production of its first sedan by the fourth quarter of 2021. And that is what I am looking for in this company. All it needs is a huge uh, game changing sedan to be released. And this uh, stock here will shoot up. The value of the company would immensely jump up since they'll have the full package. By 2021, they should reach an annual production capacity of 150,000. So, Neil is also expecting to announce a 150 kilowatt hour battery back that will likely increase the range of its EVs to over 900 kilometers which is about 560 miles so that'll be a massive game changer and by January 9th the information on this will be released so a lot of people are placing major money big money bets on cause around the January 8th to the January 15th area betting that the news on Neo Day on January 9th will catalyze strong stock movement. So we may see a break of the $55 to $60 price point in early January, so stay on the lookout for that. And if this price here doesn't attract you for Neo, keep in mind that I plan that Neo is going to be breaking $60, $70, maybe even $80 mid to late. 2021 so if you're planning on going long for neo this is an attractive price obviously you wouldn't want to jump in on a green day jump in on a dip on a red day once it stops sinking before it shoots back up neo also upgraded its advanced driver assistance platform named nt 2.0 it's expected to be unveiled at the event on january 9th 
and it will likely feature LiDAR technology, game-changing technology, which will put it ahead of its competitors. The company's delivery update for December is due in January as well. So they had a goal to deliver 6,654 vehicles in December to hit the high end of its fourth quarter guidance range of 16,500 to 17,000 and that will also be released in January. So uh, the upcoming couple of months is going to be a massive month for Dio and you are not going to want to miss out on it so if um if you guys aren't in on the company i would go ahead and play some puts to get in at a reasonable price while pocketing in some premiums and look at that while making this video my total return has gained almost over 40 dollars so you don't want to miss out on these gains uh there you have it if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like subscribe and comment i'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one for the next update see ya